This is the pre socket IO section. Now, I know that you signed up for a class on socket I.O., so that's what we should be talking about, right? Why are we skipping over it and doing something else? Well, development has become like an onion. There are lots and lots and lots of layers. When I was in college, it was really simple. What did you learn? This is what you learned. You learned C++, and then you went and got a job. It was no big deal. It was as simple as that. What do you have to learn now? Well, you might have to learn Mongo and Express, and either React, or Angular, or Vue, etc., and Node, and maybe you need a whole other stack like PHP or Python. In addition to Python, you also need to know Flask, and Django, and the list goes on. What's really bad is that if you decide you want to do React, you don't just learn React, you learn Babel. And along with Babel goes all of ES6, which is a massive, and Webpack, and Redux, and whoa, there's a lot of stuff here, okay? It's really, really hard to just start with a thing. Going back to the onion thing, onions are, going back to the onion analogy, development is, is kind of like that, where you you don't really have a center. You just have a bunch of layers on top of each other. You peel all the layers of an onion away and there's nothing left. Or, or maybe a house of cards. Everything is leaning on something else. Where do you start? What's the most important thing? Is Node the most important thing? Is React? Is Mongo? Is PHP? Is Python? Is Flask? Is Ruby? Is Java? Is it Spring? Is it Spring Boot? Where do you start? Very different than when I was in college and we just had one thing to worry about. So anytime we have a main topic, in this case, it's going to be socket I.O., if there's an underlying technology, so beneath React is native JavaScript, okay? It's always good to start with native JavaScript. Why? Well, there are a lot of people who learned jQuery back in the late 2000s, and they never learned JavaScript, and then jQuery pretty much went away. Now, it's, it's still used on most websites in some form or another, however small, but if you didn't know native JavaScript, the jump to be able to use one of the UI frameworks is a big, big deal. In this case, Socket.io is sitting on top of a whole bunch of stuff, namely the WebSocket API. Now, there is a difference, and we'll talk about this more in depth later, but Socket.io uses WebSockets when it can, which is most of the time, but if it can't, it has failover mechanisms. You do not make WebSockets inside of a Socket I.O. system, right? Whether it's the client or the server. Socket I.O. is doing that behind the scenes. Instead of going through life, like in The Wizard of Oz, where you've got, you've got the man behind the curtain, we're going to get rid of the curtain, and we're going to do WebSockets first, okay? So we're going to talk about WebSockets. I'm putting it third here because it actually comes third in order. The first thing that we need to talk about is going to be TCP along with UDP. And if you've taken my express course, it is exactly the same video with the verbiage change. I did that very much on purpose so that you wouldn't feel like you were missing out. If you haven't done it, I strongly suggest checking this out as an overview of how a network packet operates. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to go deeper in to that and look at what a network socket actually is. So we'll break down the layers a little bit more and go into more detail. Third, we'll actually take a look at web sockets, okay? And then on top of that, we're also going to look at how I do Node. The reason for that is because I know there's a ton of awesome courses on Node on Udemy, and everybody does things a little bit differently. I don't want you to waste the first hour of the course trying to figure out what on earth I'm doing or why I'm doing things differently than you're used to. So we can just knock that out in just a couple minutes, hopefully, and then you'll, you'll know. None of these are absolutely essential to the course. If you just want to skip all of them, that's fine. They're not critical. But I discourage you from doing that because... The networking stuff is some of the most useful stuff that you'll ever hear as a developer because almost nobody ever talks about it. It comes across as really mystical, really mysterious, and it's really not that hard. It's just something that you don't ever hear in a course that spends 100% of the time coding. I don't have any problem against coding, but as I've said in other courses, the difference between a good developer and a great developer is that a great developer knows, knows how something works, not just how to do something. The third part 
is an extension of that. It basically comes down to knowing what's going on underneath Socket.io so that if someday you can't use Socket.io or Socket.io moves on, you know how it's working. Or if you've got fringe cases or you get to production, it's not like Code Academy where you just watched me do something, you get to the end and you think, wow, that was really cool. And then you go back to your regular life because you have absolutely no idea what you were doing, right? There's those couple of layers where if you're a jQuery-only guy... That's like being a hobbyist and you want to make rubber, so you go out and you buy a kit. And the kit comes with everything you need to mix to, to make rubber. You follow the instructions, you grab each piece at a time, and voila, you've got it. You put it on your mantle, but no chemist does things like that. You know how to make rubber. You go out and you buy the pieces individually, or you can make it stronger, or you can innovate. We want to get away from that, I need a kit to be able to do stuff to where I can do stuff on my own. You can also think about it like the computer science part or the concept is like being a physicist and the actual coding is like being an electrician. If you want to be both electrician and physicist, someone who can wire up a building as well as someone who knows how electricity works, then this stuff is really important. Okay? It's going to be good stuff. Let me show you how I do Node.